CRM contains many predefined fields to capture critical customer data. However, over time you may decide that you need additional fields tailored for your business. So in this video, I want to show you how to create new fields in your ACT database. Now the field creation feature that you're going to see here is only available in the expert tier of ACT CRM. When creating a new field, you must be logged in as an administrator of your ACT database. And then once you're logged in, creating a field is a two-step process. We're going to cover the first step in this video, which deals with creating the actual field in the database. The second step involves adding that field to the layout of your screen, and so you'll see that process in the next video. To begin, let's go to the Tools menu at the top of the screen, and we'll choose Define Fields. This will lock the database and will require all other users to log out, so it's best to perform these steps when no one else at your company is using ACT CRM. On the Define Fields screen, notice that you can choose fields for contacts, companies, groups, opportunities, and even product entities. But in this video, I want to focus on contact fields since we typically use those the most. The list of current fields in the database appear in this table. So before creating a new field, it's always a good idea to make sure your field doesn't already exist. Scroll through this list just to double check. Now let me quickly show you how easy it is to create a new field from scratch. In the left column, I'm going to click the Create New Field link, and now I need to give my field a name. This is the name that is going to appear in the database, not on the screen itself. Although I do recommend using the same name for both the database field and the label on the screen. So let's make this name simple, yet clear and distinct from your other database fields. I need to create a field that reflects my customer's account numbers. So I'm going to call this field account number. Now I need to choose a field data type. One of the great things about ACT CRM is the variety of built-in field types that are available. Most fields use the character type which allows you to type any combination of letters, numbers, and special characters. But ACT CRM can also make mathematical calculations for you with the calculated field. It can use precise date and time fields. You can use picture fields and even check boxes with the yes, no field. Check out the help area for a complete list and explanation of all of these field types. For my account number field, I'm going to make this a character field since my account numbers contain only letters and numbers. Now let's look at the Customize Field Behavior area. The Allow Blank box is checked by default. This means that the field is not required. If I uncheck this box, the field will be required before I can save any contact records. The Generate History box will record history to the Contacts History tab each time the data in the field is modified. So check this box if you need to keep dated records of whenever this field changes. The data in all primary fields are copied whenever you decide to duplicate a contact record. So check the primary field box if you want to include this field's data whenever you duplicate a contact record. Some fields in ACT are better suited for a drop-down list. This helps the overall integrity of your data by keeping it clean and consistent. Some examples of good drop-down lists might be months of the year, geographical regions like states or counties, or even preset contract service levels. I'm going to show you how to create and manage a drop-down list in a future video. For my account number though, I don't want a drop-down list for this, so I'm going to leave this box unchecked. And now I'll click Next. For field customization, I want to minimize the mistakes that get entered into this field, so I'm going to set some limits. I'm not going to put anything in the default value, but I do want to use the field format field to control the type of data that gets put in this field. Let me explain. Let's say that all of my account numbers for my customers begin with two letters and then end with four numbers. For example, AB1234. I can set those limits here. If I use the at symbol, it's going to represent letters, and so I'm going to put two at symbols there to force two letters. And then the number symbol represents numbers, so I'm going to put four number symbols in there to force four numbers at the end of the account number. And that's it. Now for field length, of course, all my account numbers are going to be six characters long, 
So I'll put the number six here. And that's all I need to do, so I'm gonna click Finish. And that's how easy it is to create a new field in your ACT database. In the next video, we're gonna modify the layout of our contact screen so that we can add this field to the layout.